Hello and welcome to Newsbits on Internet Television International. Thanks for logging on. I am Oluchi Madu. In the news today, members of the House of Reps Lambas Obasanjo sect to probe the Nigerian Stock Exchange and Akimbola may spend two weeks in EFCC custody. All this and more in a moment. The minority caucus of the House of Representatives has lambasted former President Olusegun Obasanjo over his recent accusation that the National Assembly was corrupt. At a press briefing yesterday, the minority leader for the rest, Honorable Ali Ndume, AMPP Bonu State, who addressed the National Assembly correspondents on behalf of the caucus, said that although the National Assembly is corrupt to a certain level, former President Obasanjo is their father and grandfather in corruption. I am not in total disagreement with Obasanjo. Let me be very clear. But I would have preferred him to say either Nigerians are corrupt or Nigerian politicians are corrupt. That would have been right. But if for him to just single out uh, the National Assembly, I feel I think he is he is not being fair. Because even if that is the case, the National Assembly has 80% PDP members, both in the Senate and in the House of Reps. And Obasanjo is the father and grandfather of PDP. If that is true, then it means if his children are corrupt, then the father or the grandfather will know what he is. Members of the Senate have also reacted to Obasanjo's remarks, saying he should prove his comments and also report said corrupt officials to the right authorities. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has secured a court order from an Abuja High Court to detain a former Chief Executive Officer of Intercontinental Bank, Dr. Erastus Akimbola, for two weeks till the conclusion of his interrogation. Akimbola had surrendered to the Commission on Wednesday, less than 24 hours after he arrived in the country, after months of self-inflicted exile. It was learned that the embattled former bank executive might be taken to court straight from the EFCC custody to answer a pending 28 count charge. He is being held on charges relating to money laundering and granting non performing loans estimated at about 700 billion naira. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Atahiru Jega, has again reiterated his resolve to conduct a free and fair election in 2011. Jega stated this when he received the executive of Trade Union Congress, led by its president. Peter Isele, our correspondent, Shayo Adebumi, now reports. As ANIC awaits the approval of the 74 billion Naira, it has demanded for the compilation of a new voters' registration. Comrade Peter Isele, president of Trade Union Congress, TUC, has cautioned against any plans to postpone the election. Comrade Isele, who led a delegation to the INEC headquarters, said the business of ensuring that Nigeria has a credible election in 2011 is a task of every well meaning in Nigeria. We will employ you that please use whatever means that is available to ensure that next year we have a free and fair election that we can all be proud of. Isele said TUC will support INEC in every way it can. While addressing the leadership of TUC, Professor Atari Gujegas urged them to use the members all over the country to enlighten people on the need to be part of the entire electoral process. Jegas said in the coming 2011 election, every Nigerian's vote will count. First time will make a difference in terms of ensuring that the vote of Nigerians counts. And we will do everything possible to ensure that this happens. And as we prepare for a fresh voters' registration, we intend to ensure that for the first time also, there is a very good foundation uh, for credible voter registration, which is a necessary requirement for free call you upon you as well as upon all other Nigerians and stakeholders to continue to join hands with us and to partner with us to ensure uh, that we succeed uh, in this very challenging uh, undertaking uh, which is ahead of us.
If there's one thing the chairman of INEC has continued to re-emphasize on, it is the active participation of every Nigerian. For there to be a credible, free and fair election, Professor Tyro has called on Nigerians to get involved in the electoral process. Yes, they will do their best, but not without the involvement of every Nigerian. Shaya Adebumi, reporting for ITI. Now for business news, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC on Thursday announced its plans to probe the activities of the Nigerian Stock Exchange under the leadership of its former group CEO, Professor Ndi Okereke Onyuke. SEC's Director General, Ms. Aruma Ote, made this known while addressing market operators and journalists on the development in the NSE in Lagos. She said that the Nigerian Stock Exchange had not submitted its 2009 results to SEC as required by the rules and regulations of the Commission. She added that SEC had been unable to determine the veracity of these allegations because the exchange had not yet submitted its final financial statements for the year 2009. A formal investigation will therefore serve to shed some light on the situation. And on that note, we wrap up this edition of News Bits on Internet Television International. Thanks for logging on. I am Oluchi Madu. <laughs>